everybody out there this is Utsav Singh from smart tech and today I'm gonna show you guys how to create this water caustics effect in UE4 so let's get started right away I've got this simple material here and I'm gonna replicate that also I'm gonna show you guys how to create a light function and yeah you can so that you can use it as a in a light effect you've seen right away so yes let's get started first I'm gonna do and I'm gonna use a texture for this case um, I created this texture using substance designer I used a plasma generator um, I will just upload this image um, so guys so that you guys can download it now let me just rename my new material to and let's get started you can download I think I'll put it in the description the link will be there don't worry I'm just gonna put that into my scene and into my material I mean and press ctrl w to duplicate it so first thing first I'm just gonna create some space here yeah. actually there's space right click and search for panner panner is used for moving your texture so first thing first I'm gonna set this up in the time I'm just gonna use the time node no complication there in the speed drag off and type a pin vector now panel has two values speed x and speed y I'm gonna use the a and b a will serve as speed x and b will serve as speed y you cannot use an add node as a pin will make will help it to read a and b as separate values so hold s on your keyboard to create scale of parameters and just plug them in type in speed x and speed y i'm just gonna hold control and select both of them and put in a common value like 0 0.01 for the coordinates what i want is um, I'm gonna use world position I'll show you guys later how it affects actually I will just show you now let me create a material instance of the old one I'm not just I'm not showing you guys how to make this it now world position will now you can see that it is the texture is moving that is why um, that's the effect of using absolute world position okay now hit me here we are so now absolute world position if you use this it is a three-sided text here i'm i mean it is giving three-sided information but panel only works with two sides i mean two coordinates if you may just drag off from here and search for component mask mask rg that is red and green red is x and green is y for now if i use this it will absolute world position would say for every one um actually i'll just show you now you can see it is not visible actually it is there but it is being repeated too many times so one ue4 unit it is gonna repeat one time so i'm just gonna divide it hold this and put it something like in this case i'm gonna use name it scale and let me see what I can do underscore one ah come on no I'll just this is this is a simple trick I found a few days ago but ah I mean let me just put this here underscore one Don't. let me just speed x in the scale i'm just going to use something like 300 right so we have got a base setup here now we want variety right so we are going to do it two times just select this area and control w now notice scale underscore two so this quickens your workflow pretty well and so you won't have to rename them again and then i just what i want to do is first I'm going to change this value to something like 500 and then I'm gonna add these 
two textures on top of each other and put this in actually I will this now there in this material we have tint control so I'll just show you what I have done here now I want to edit these tints as overall as one whole texture and individual textures as well so I will first show you how to do the individual textures and then we can move on to the overall texture so drag off from here and just put in a multiply simple drag from here and type in a static switch so this will help this will use um, we will use this node to derive um, <coughs> um, I'll just show you, show you bool static bool parameter and name it individual tint underscore element underscore one simple now if this is uh, false if the value is false it will put in this value for now it is zero so our texture is completely um actually uh, black it is bla black because we don't have put this into the base color so it will say but if i actually i'll just show you put this value of one now if my individual tilt element this boolean is returning false then it will pass this value into the multiply and thus this multiplier will have a value of one so now if i set this to true I want a value how I did is just hold three and left click three vector convert to parameter and individual chain underscore one now if I do some tint or color whatever you want to call it doesn't matter really with this shade of blue set this into true now you will notice something oh actually i just have to put this into the base color first <clears throat> uh -huh. and put this here my bad now first network is done now you can see the texture here will be blue this and the other one is the white one so as you can see if if this is set to true then it is using this value and multiplying the texture but if i set this to false i'm just gonna use a constant value of one so that there is no change in the texture right now i'm just gonna set this to its default black and duplicate it here drag off and the multiply put this in here put that there and well here you go it will it has renamed itself to a value of two and two now again duplicate these nodes put this into the top for now it doesn't really matter because in multiplication both ways are going to give you the same result now if I add, if I want to put this in here this one will control our overall tint or color whatever I'm just gonna name it overall tint overall tint and well actually I have now to prevent overlapping in some case I'm just gonna drag off a multiply here now I've noticed some people doing this like if I have this no these two nodes here I want to add a multiply in between what I used to was add a multiply here then drag this connection here but there is this simpler way you can just drag off from here and actually reads simple right now individual two yes multiply to prevent all laughing I'm just gonna multiply it with a scalar parameter 
a scalar parameter here and um, now as you can see it is multiplying by zero so that looks not good right multiply by two and i'm just gonna name this offset if you want offset now as you can see this is going to affect our texture so let this happen and as you can see it is being repeated so many times right i'm just gonna set the offset to two and apply and well congrats we have got our material set up let's see if we forgot something no we didn't classic now let's create a material instance and put this in here it looks the same right and yes it works the same as well what did i just do well actually that's good right here cool so individual tint first i'm gonna use those two values i'm just gonna do something blue put a value like that there so that it looks good hmm. yep right there cool so now overall tint I'm just gonna make it a little more on the aqua screen side and well here you go and well speed offset controls the offset so well, this looks good as well actually scale one you can make it real small to get the same thing there and scale to and control the offset to increase that but these values work pretty well right let me just control that i like my stairs the way they were seriously give me back my stairs yep better now as you can see we have this light function material here just drag it here and name it tutorial light function let me just rename that caps lock shift f doesn't work with this recorder i don't know why in the surface i'm just going to use light function and drag this connection into emissive color and we'll you're done but there is a catch the indiv individual color system or overall tint system won't work in this case so i'll just close all this stuff apply apply you can either have this common material or you or you can go ahead create a material instance and plug this into i just selected my spotlight put this in here well here you go now remember our component mask was rg so as you can see in this case the viewing angles are red and blue so how to fix that i'm just gonna show you go to my material here and well 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 just gonna right click convert to parameter actually in this case what i want to do is um viewing quads and let me just control w that there and well here you go now this parameter now they are going to share the same value if i go change into this it will also change in in that one i'll just control c this one here go to my light function there go here somewhere control v delete this so it is present 
control w ah come on i have to select that control w viewing viewing cards my bad and put this into my viewing cards now as you can see in the b or the blue value when the z is visible it is getting stretched that is what is happening to a wall let me apply that again now if i go ahead change it let's what is happening yes it is compiled now let me first make it to complete that way right there and in this case my viewing angles are again blue and red let me enhance that blue and red let compile the shaders hmm. now as you can see it is available on to you on your wall color it and maybe make a new moving wall texture you know fast as that but yeah it works so now you can create multiple material instances and use it um, to add the slide to your whole area and of course you can go ahead apply this and well it works right away what did I just do now? Yep, better. So I'll just save all. Hope you like these videos, guys. If you did, make sure to press the like button. And if you didn't, well, I can't do anything. Sorry about that. Make sure to share and subscribe. Uh, share this video and subscribe to my channel. And goodbye until next time. Keep creating.